fired or move to other places, or second liners can have this material to move on and do things for social action. So we need to have a proper balance of reflection, theory, and action. They all go together. Paul Farmer, the founder of uh, Health Partners in Health, professor at Harvard Medical School, said there are three ways by which we can deal with our projects or our social action. First is charity and human needs. Fine, we need to do charity. Many religions say we have to be charitable at least one day in a year. Okay, let's do that. But Paul Farmer said that's not enough. Because when you give them food tomorrow, they're still hungry. Who's happy? You, as the donor. But the people stay a fix in poverty. That's not change. But yeah, okay. They need it, at least sustenance for one day. And then Paul Farmer said, <coughs> uh, this was his critique. He won the Social Entrepreneurship Award. Skull Foundation, and he criticized the social entrepreneurship model. And he was applauded with standing ovation. Can you imagine that? Like he said, no, social entrepreneurship, why do we need that? It's just a lot of words. Or just using the language of mainstream business. Like, does it do us any good? I don't think so. Applause. Now, a human rights-based approach, you would say, well, when we're going out, let's empower the people. We're not helping them, but they are empowering themselves. We consider differences, ethnicity, inclusion, gender, and everything else. And then you have the third approach, maybe if you go to Haiti, you have to do charity, you have to empower the people so they can take care of their own uh, paramedical needs and also deal with the environment and sustainable development. Sometimes we have to do three at the same time. And as human beings who are doing political theory, we also live in different realms of ideas. And there are also struggle of ideas. We're bombarded with corporations are people, and corporations are not people. Those are political and theoretical struggles up in our brains. And Paulo Freire, again, is one maybe person from whom we can learn some experience. He wasn't just Christian, period. He was also an existentialist, he was also Marxist, he was also post-colonialist, and he was also a progressive postmodern, <clears throat> all in one. So lessons learned, we can learn and pluck fruits from different trees, and we'll have a beautiful fruit basket. Now, struggle. So we're not only doing political struggle that we are, advocacy is 